Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Wednesday's episode of The Voters TV. As our regular viewers know, this last weekend, The Voters TV took a field trip, getting out of our TV TV studios here and replacing the fictitious backdrops we normally create using our trusty green screen here with the breathtaking, captivating, and shall I say, drool-inspiring waterfront images on display at our weekend port of call, the 48th Annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's the largest boat show in the world, and no doubt that's true. With numerous yacht and boat displays, innovative feature introductions, and forays into new levels of design, this global event was a marine showcase unlike any other. So, Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we take you on a tour of the venue with all the spectacular boats, products, and even people that were on display both on land and in water throughout the show's six sites. From high-tech inflatables, high-style trawlers, and high-performance cruisers to luxurious catamarans and customizable mega yachts, there was something for everyone at this year's show. At the center of everything were the displays at the Bahia Mar Yachting Center. There were seven extraordinary accessory tents displaying every marine-related product and service there is to outfit, decorate, and insure your boat, including nautical fashions and gift ideas. A pass through the International Yacht Builders Pavilion gave us a peek at what the rest of the world is building. This 15,000 square foot tent featured a broad range of influential manufacturers and shipyards from countries including Italy, Germany, Canada and Taiwan. The engines tent housed a collection of the newest engines, generators and air conditioners for small boats, mid-sized cruisers, and super yachts from every leading manufacturer worldwide. But perhaps the most awe-inspiring attraction of them all was along the Bahia Mar face dock, where the show's extravagant super yachts showcase featured a stunning display of super yachts ranging from 80 to 180 feet from the world's most esteemed builders. Also featured at the Hiamar were dock after dock of power boats, sport fishers, family cruisers, high performance boats, brokerage boats, picnic boats, trawlers, and express cruisers. And just when you thought you'd found that next liquid asset you just had to have, a walk north on the connected floating docks to the Hall of Fame marina gave us a look at not only some of the most sought after brokerage yachts, but even hot new models of speed and style on land at the exotic car showcase. While a rainy Friday sent us indoors, we weren't complaining, for over at the Greater Fort Lauderdale Broward County Convention Center, there were close to 350 exhibitors filling the entire ground show floor and expansive third floor ballrooms with hundreds of boats under 40 feet and thousands more marine products, accessories, equipment, and electronics. This land-based marina included a vast array of fishing boats, family cruisers, runabouts, flat boats, center councils, jet boats, engines, fishing equipment, and more. Sleek, chic, classic, contemporary, fast, functional. If you were in the market to pick up a new watercraft, it would have been impossible not to have found the boat of your dreams at the world's largest boat show. Always on the cutting edge of new advances, the 48th Annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show featured many companies producing environmentally friendly products and employing environmentally conscious business practices, proving that these days it's easy to participate in green boating. No, not that kind of green boating. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. As keeping our waters clean and our ecosystem safe, environmentally sound products are a big part of this year's show. Green products, I guess we'll call them. I'm here with Greg Mink of Quality Boat Lifts Incorporated, based out of Fort Myers, Florida. And you have a really interesting product in this category of green boat products. It's called Quality Boat Lifts, and yes. they're solar powered. It's They're solar and uh, normal AC powered boat lifts. But what the DC power, the solar power, does for us. Not only does it help uh, in the green movement, but also it takes us into a lot of markets that where there's voltage issues of getting out into the water. It may cost ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to run electric a thousand feet or so out into the water to get to deep water to store your boat. 
I can do it for a fraction of the cost and not have any of the problems that you'd run into in those environments. For instance, during a storm, solar power still works. During cloudy days, solar power still works. I have solar powered boat lifts in Michigan and Canada and Wisconsin, and they aren't affected by you know, the lack of sun. They do need sun to recharge, but they can still lift the boat. And a big money saver as well, you say? Yes, the economics of solar power in the boat lift industry is definitely there. I can lift boats at a fraction of the cost that it would, it would cost to run electric to them. Awesome, okay, thank you very much. Sure. Every year, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show crowns a queen of the show, a super yacht so immense in size and so lavish in luxury that she reigns supreme over the already impressive multi-billion dollar collection of the more than 200 super yachts that gather annually for this major event. At 223 feet long, 42 feet wide, 66 feet high, and worth a show record $130 million, this year's queen motor yacht Kismet held court at the Fort Lauderdale Grand Yacht Club and Marina. Designed as a world roaming cruiser with a 5,000 nautical mile range and fuel, foods, and goods storage capabilities that can keep her from coming back to port for months at a time, Her Royal Highness stands six decks, yes, that's six decks high, two below sea level and three above. Built and presented by Lurson Yachts, Kismet truly is a floating palace. Among her many mesmerizing features, a spiral staircase, glass elevator, a glass-bottomed jacuzzi on the top deck, which creates the skylight for the deck below, an observation deck, which of course can also be used as a helipad, a disco floor, and a cinema room. Her massive and spectacular master suite covers 1,400 square feet of space on the main deck. The equally impressive engine room rises through two decks of the vessel. And we're told that she comes equipped with some of the most spacious crew quarters ever built, including an oversized mess to accommodate all 18 crew members at once. Hmm, makes the thought of going back and being a yacht stewardess sound awfully tempting. And while that's all the time we have for today, it's certainly not all the footage and features we have from this year's Fort Lauderdale Boat Show festivities. Be sure to join us back here on Friday when we have oh so very much more to share. Until then, as always, safe and happy boating to you all. Take care. This episode of The Boaters TV was brought to you by the word birthday because yesterday was my daddy's birthday. Happy birthday, Papa.